It's pitch empty. That's a little bit. It is. I'm going to pick that up. That's right. Especially my dad's garden. He's not going to be happy about that one. So. He's inside. He doesn't know. Right now, I'm maybe. sorry right now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I know it's been a little while since I've been out here talking to you guys, but I've gotten a million comments asking me, hey, Dane, what's the best gun that I can get for $25 and a half dollars and packet of peanuts and gums? Well, the answer is here. I'm in my Gun of Thrones here, Throne of Guns, and we're going to go through a whole bunch of guns. This is the definitive list. Don't ask me again. Watch this video. If you ask me, and I send you this video, it's because I'm getting tired of getting asked what the best gun is, all right? This is the video. This is it. Let's do it. Huh? All right, guys, here we go. Number one. We're going to start out with close-up stuff. I have lost it immediately. Mark 23. There are many versions of this gun. This is the Toki Marui version. The version that Novrich makes, the SSX23, is also a fantastic gun. It comes with a modular suppressor. There's some video of that playing right now. This uh, gun is fantastic if you're a sniper. It is super, super quiet. And if you aren't a sniper, this pistol shoots farther than any other pistol that I've ever used. This is by far 100% the pistol I would recommend for any type of gameplay. Got Paul. All right, guys, number two. This is an MP7, all right? So this is the gas blowback version. Um, a lot of people ask me, what is a good sidearm uh, if you don't want to run a pistol? And something like this is perfect. This one is made by Swit Airsoft. It's fully upgraded. It is an absolute machine. I have killed many, many people with this gun. It is light, it is small, but it extends to give you a nice shoulder rest, you know, and uh, and it, the performance out of this gun is 10 out of 10. Um, if you guys want to check out the videos to uh, any of these guns, by the way, links are down below in order of the guns. Uh, so just check that out. Go watch the video. This is number two on Dayton's top 10 guns that I own, that you should own, that everybody should own this gun. Reload. Hit. Number three. Up next, Scorpion Evo by ASG. This is by far the best SMG that is out there. I know this one's pretty good. It's gas blowbacks, pretty yummy, pretty good, fruitful for lots of kills, but get it out of here because this is the gun that you're gonna want. This one is electric. You can put high cap mags on it, you can put mid cap mags on it, and you can paint it to look like it came out of a video game. What more could you want, exactly. Um, this gun is really fairly priced. I don't know the exact price on it right now, but I remember when this one got into my possession, it was a very average good price, not what price that I would be worried about. And it stands up by itself. Look at all the things you learn. Um, yeah. Some gameplay with this one, you can see it is an absolute beast. Number three on my list of guns that I have that you should have too. How many times am I going to save that? Probably after every gun. They just got roasted. <laughs> Up next, you want to have fun and shoot a lot of BBs at once, and it's like you're using full auto, but you're using pump action, not even full auto. We'll get ready for a pump action shotgun. This is by Jag Precision, Jag Arms, freaking awesome gun. You pull this back, you got a little selector switch right here where you can shoot three to six BBs every time. You got a shotgun shell that you load up with the BBs, makes it really real. You feel like you're loading a shotgun when you load this shotgun. Um, and the performance is fantastic. It's gas, so you can just hold down the trigger and just keep doing, that probably sounded really loud. Uh, you can just keep doing that. Uh, I have a lot of gameplay with this. This is a freaking fantastic TTT weapon and definitely one you guys should add to your arsenal if you play CQB or if you just want to have a ton of fun out on the field. What are you reaching for over there? Hey, hey, what are you reaching for? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Put your hands up against the wall right now. <laughs> oh shit, shit just went down. Number five, up next is the LT-19B by Lancer Tactical. A lot of people look at the name Lancer Tactical and they say, 
Why do you own a Lancer Tactical? The answer is because they make the best intro guns ever. This is a $120 gun that you can pick up on modernairsoft.com and it is everything you need to begin airsoft. It's a polymer, but it's pretty freaking strong. I can't even break it over my knee and I am a bodybuilder with the mass of a semi truck inside this body. Um, and the performance is actually not that bad. I have a lot of gameplay with this thing where I destroy people who are using Crytex and other sniper rifles and stuff. It doesn't matter what type of gun you're using. As long as you know how to use it right, you're going to get a lot of kills with it. That's why this is definitely on my list of top 10 guns that I own that you should own too. It's not I'm, the size of the gun. In it's the not fight. the size of the gun. It's how you use it. That's what they say. That's what I've been told a lot of times to make me feel less bad about myself. Because a lot of times when people are talking about things that aren't as big, I'm, please hold me. Got him. Up next, what if there's a target at a range that you're not used to? What if they're far away? What if they're farther than you are ready for? Well, that's why you're going to need a sniper rifle. Now, this one is by Swit Airsoft. Once again, it's upgraded uh, by them. Um, it's full wood, real wood, and it's a spring bolt action uh, Springfield M1903, I believe it's called. Now, a lot of these guns, these World War II style guns, are not the best performing wise. Swit Airsoft is one of those little cherries on the cake that make it actually perform really well. But uh, the reason why I picked this one out is because you don't always have to have a really well performing gun. Sometimes you just want to have a gun that's a hell of a lot of fun to play with. And all of these World War II style guns that Swit Airsoft makes are probably the most fun I've ever had playing with an airsoft gun, just because you really get into the, the feel of the game uh, more so than trying to get a ton of kills, which is a really tasteful sort of difference in uh, game style that, that playing with a realistic style, you know, old style gun really gives you. So this is, uh, that's why this one is on my list of guns that are pretty good that you should think about getting because they're pretty good. Uh, what a number of six, seven, we're on to the next one. Go yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get them through this crack here. Got one. Up next, if you guys haven't had the opportunity to play with an HPA gun, you are truly missing out on a lot of what Airsoft has to offer. This is my custom Polar Star, uh, the House Gamers Sorry Bud. Uh, it is a fantastic, fantastic gun. I have a little bit of gameplay with this, but I don't use it just because it is too unfair. Polar Stars, as fast as you can pull a trigger, you will shoot. It shoots like a laser beam, um, and if you can deal with having a hose go into an air tank, you're going to have a fantastic time. I know this is the type of gun that a lot of people use in CQB. I use it in outdoors, and it performs fantastically. That is why the Polar Star House Gamers Sorry Bud Gun is on my top 10 list of guns that I think are pretty sweet, pretty yummy, and that you should put in your mouth. Up next, what about earlier when I said that there was a target at a range that you're not used to and you want to shoot that person? Well, the good news is that there's a way for you to do that another way if you don't have the gun that you previously had. This one is the Novrich SSG-10. This is the one with the fancy stock, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it also has got the short barrel and the suppressor. The inner barrel actually goes out to right there, which is pretty sweet. This gun is super cheap, super durable, like... They know. Fantastic gun. And, uh, and it, I freaking love it. Super, super long distance shots with this thing. Super accurate. You can lift any weight BB. Honestly, if you want a sniper platform, the SSG-10, look no further. This is the one to get. And that's why it's on my list of guns that I think should be, honestly, in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most gun gun in Airsoft. So get, get it. I got him through that little tiny freaking hole. Can I get a yes man in chat? <laughs> it's a bitch empty. That's a little bit. It is, I'm gonna pick that up. That's right. Especially in my dad's garden, he's not gonna be happy about that one. Say so. He's inside, say he doesn't so right now, I'm sorry right now. <laughs> up next, the Crytek 
SPR Mark II. This gun by itself is a freaking fantastic platform. It is a full-sized uh, AR-15 style gun. You got uh, standard M4 mags. Beautiful, beautiful uh, make to this gun. This is the key mod style. I think they have M-Lock ones now. Um, but this one's got a little extra pepper in it. It's got a little, ex little extra sauce on the, uh, on the old poutine here. This one is un upgrade ungraded by Umbrella Armory. Now, Umbrella Armory makes some fantastic stuff, but their SPR system is truly, I believe, the best airsoft DMR out on the market right now. This gun can shoot so far that I don't use it. It is pointless to own if you don't want to just go out and absolutely wreck everybody because if, when you play with this gun, you see somebody at 300 feet, it's a boop and they're dead. One shot, one kill. For Christmas. Oh, another guy 300 feet, boop, they're dead. It's playing airsoft on easy mode, and I try not to use this one uh, that much because I, I want a challenge. And the problem with this gun is there's no challenge to airsoft because it's too good. Uh, so that's why this is on my list of top 10 guns that are pretty greasy, but they'll freaking um, polish your whistle. Can I say that? No. Uh, it's, it's a good gun. Yeah. The last gun. Now, you guys have seen this gun on my channel since I started. This is the uh, VSR-10 by uh, Tokyo Marui. It is a... I almost just got killed. So the reason the VSR-10 is on this list is not just because it's been my favorite gun since I've started Airsoft, but because you have so many options of stuff to do. There are so many upgrades and so many modifications to this gun that you can so truly, long. it's she's so long. You can make this into any system that you want. I have made this into a stupidly overpowered gun as of recently. It is HPA powered and reloads with a little trigger system that you operate with your finger here. You just push it back and then it goes forwards and reloads the gun. So being a bush is kind of the best thing in the world, actually. And then I also have, I'm sure the gameplay that you're watching right now is of that. It's got a big M4 mag that sticks out there. So you got about 300 rounds as fast as you can pull the trigger. It is a stupidly overpowered gun. Don't expect to see this 3D print on the market anytime soon because I'm not giving anyone that type of power. I'm sure you could make it yourself, but don't do that because there's really, there's no need to do this, what I've done. Um, and, but yeah, that's why this is number one on my list of guns that I have that you should have because there's just so many options out there for ways that you can modify this gun uh, and the amount of fun that I've had with it is just truly fantastic. What are you saying no for? You can't have it. You can't have it. This is mine. This That's one's the mine. House this one. is the house gamer's gun. This it's actually, I don't know if I've shown this off actually to a lot of people, but this is signed by basically everyone in the community. Um, we got freaking Jet Desert Fox, Unicorn Leah, Brain Exploder, Nico, Sam, uh, everyone. Uh, I think even under here is someone. I don't know who's under there. Oh, we'll cover that back up. That's that doesn't matter. <laughs> then on the other side, we got Femme Fatale, Nick, freaking JC Juicy. We got Novrich up here. Um, get that, get that, wipe that off. <laughs> um, freaking fantastic gun. Um, I guess that's it for this list. I don't want to say that these are the best guns ever on the market. These are just the guns that I own that I think anyone who wants to invest into airsoft these are the first ones you should take a look at um 100 back these guns i will put my name and seal of approval on them if anything happens to them you ring me up and say dayton this is piece of shit i'll say that sucks i'm not dealing with that actually at all i'm not taking responsibility for any of that now that i think about it no but they're really good guns and the ones that i have yeah they're very good and i like them and don't have to worry about them ever have i been rambling long enough have we hit the 10 minute mark yeah, hell yeah. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you on the next one. Maybe we'll even have some airsoft footage. Who knows? <laughs>